uh, I'll be definitely sharing my screen again. And uh, again, today we are going for a poem because uh, I go by. Are you getting my screen? Yes or no? Quickly. Yes, sir. No? Somebody is saying yes? yes? yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. Today, today we are. What are you doing? Speaker off. Yes, I'm going to go to the And, uh, there are some what is you can explain this thing another question why everyone wants to remain in company of beautiful things why all of us we want that uh, we should be in company of good things beautiful things attractive things another question does beauty mean external appearance only does it mean the glamour outside good looking face and a good looking dress a smart one for the questions normally if it had been uh, then we would have gone for uh, discussion on all these questions but uh, i have given these questions to think over because these questions are the questions upon which the whole poem is dragged the complete framework of the, of the poem the complete gist of the poem revolves around these questions what is beauty why everyone wants to be in close company with beauty does beauty mean only the att uh, attraction outside or how beauty can be maintained, how we can maintain beauty or how it can nourish us. So quickly we move to the chapter, the poem, A Thing of Beauty by John Keats. You must have done this poem, but once again, we are going to refresh the poem. John Keats, you know, he was brilliant poet, but he died at the, at the age of 26 only. Very young, he died. Look at the birth span. 1795 to 1821, John Keats. And he had remained alive for a long time, like Wordsworth, like Sally, like Byron. Then he would have been great poet. But because he had a very short span of life, still he became very famous. He was a British romantic poet. When we talk about romantic, romantic means nature poet. Romantic does not mean anything, only singing and dancing. Romantic means though those poets who started writing about the natural objects, who started writing uh, about the things which are the part of this system, the whole globe, the whole earth. And he was basically a surgeon actually. He was not a poet by profession, he was a surgeon. Some people sound is disturbing me. But he devoted himself to poetry. He left that uh, profession of a surgeon and he started writing poetry. So what does it mean? Suppose you are trained for medical, you are trained for engineering and all of a sudden you just jump to the different profession. It means that you have very strong fascination for that. You have a strong attraction for that and many of you will be doing. Don't worry, many of you will change. Right now you are studying science or commerce or humanities, you might do something very different in life. That depends on the attraction of the, you know, job and profession and of course the passion for that. Keats has the power to swear, this word swear. Swear means just go away, take up imagination, fly away. He wants his readers to just uh, leave their own places and to go to the world of imagination, to go to different parts of the areas, different parts of the land, earth, and enjoy. Because according to him, beauty is not only inside the home, 
it is far far away in water sea mountains rivers everywhere he perceived perceived means looked at he saw the world and lived in his mood and aspirations he had his own world this world of imagination this world of belief this world of thinking this was a very different world different from the real world he imagined many things he thought of many things he conceived he realized many things a thing of beauty is an excerpt this word excerpt is the part taken it is a part taken from endymion endymion a poetic romance this is a big poem which john keats wrote and this a thing of beauty is taken from that this poem is based on greek legend greek legend greek that roman people this country and the greece and roman they had lots of legend legends in the sense the old stories the old belief the old tradition like we indian also have many legend this rama and mahabharat all these are based on legendary stories tales so there was a greek legend and in that legend there was endymion a beautiful young shepherd shepherd one who looks after sheep she and the poet they lived on mount latmus mount latmus was the place where they lived and this is also very popular mount mountain and they had a vision of cynthia now cynthia is the moon goddess here cynthia the moon goddess they had a vision means they saw moon goddess in their dream in their imagination in their that uh, sleep in their uh, aspirations and then what happened the enchanted youth enchanted means attracted both the poet as well as endymion both of them decided to seek cynthia, cynthia. they wanted to find out moon goddess they went in search of moon goddess they went from one place to another place they wandered wandered means moved away from one place to another place one mountain to another mountain one area to another area and their search was there for cynthia so this during that time they had the experience they went through forests they went toward the sea mountains and during this journey they found many things interesting so this is the backdrop this is the background of this poem it means that the poet is going to be in company of the nature and the natural object now we go to the very first stanza a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing the poem is very simple it is not as complicated as other poem as we did yesterday it is a very simple poem but sometime we have to think of that so the poet says that this beauty is something which gives the joy every time joy forever means its joy is not one day two day it is a permanent joy its loveliness increases and its in, uh, that uh, attraction increases hmm. okay theek dekh lunga main abhi is class ke baad bhejte hain so the loveliness increases normally we think that the beauty uh, fades away and uh, after some time it is no no more but no the poet is not talking about that beauty the poet is talking about that beauty which remains forever which increases it will never pass into nothingness nothingness zero it will not become zero it will go it will remain forever you will enjoy the people who will come they will enjoy because this beauty is not simple object it is something spiritual it is something emotional it is something which remains in your mind in your imagination in your psyche in your heart that is the beauty 
but will keep a bower quiet for us bower means a shady place under the you know a uh, dense bush or uh, creepers whatever is there that dense shade is called bower during number uh, summer season if you, it is extremely hot and you you find some either bougainvillea or any other bush or any other uh, that fern growth and under that there is a dense shade you sit there or you rest under that that gives you a special peace a special relief to you so this is the same thing so the poet has compared beauty with a shaded place with a bow, with a bow b o w e r bower yes ha huh? sir bower can be a shade of tree definitely it is basically bower is shade and this shade can be of any creeper any growth any you know a, a, a group of trees may be possible but normally bower is the shade which is of uh, you know a growth creeper like growth and especially you might have seen that bougainvillea is uh, that was in our school also near basketball ground that was a big you know bougainvillea creeper was there because it is dense and under it the shade is really very dense so bower means a shade and the shade which is really very relief giving so he says that under that we can sleep we can have sweet dream we can enjoy good health we can have breathing also this does not mean that you are going to sleep under this no he says that beauty has this type of work beauty has this type of you know a uh, personality trait that we can take rest we feel good we we'll, we see good dreams we have sound sleep we remain healthy and we we take a good uh, breathing also so this is something the power of beauty he explains that beauty is not going to stop it remains forever and it provides us all the healthy things for example nowadays we are talking about immunity immunity so you can say beauty also provides us a type of immunity because it keeps us away from stress distress and all types of problem any type of beautiful thing i have explained these things actually i have already explained this thing but again for your general information any type of beautiful thing is a source of continuous joy and pleasure because its attraction and charms never fades away it always goes always remains with the passage of time and i'm talking about the poet is talking about spiritual this aesthetic beauty emotional sensual beauty this is not the physical just one physical is also there no problem but physical remains for some time only ultimately we have to go for all these type of beauties which go longer beauty is like a dense and peaceful uh, peaceful shade under which one can rest and enjoy a sleep full of sweet dreams good and peaceful life and therefore beauty works as a healing medicine so beauty is working like a healing medicine something which treats us and it makes tired broken and sad and distressed people feel better now think that we people are tired we are broken we are sad we are distressed and beauty provides us beauty gives us a feeling better feeling relaxed feeling recharged feeling energized positive i have given lots of word, words here so that you understand otherwise you people only keep limited words with yourself so beauty is giving us all all positive this is the work of beauty now i give up one example then i'll quickly go to the next slide for example you saw a rose and there are lovely plants in our school also these days sunflower is there sunflower and rose that will not live forever that will i think finish within one or two days or some days but the image of that sunflower or that rose will get imprinted in your mind and you will remember that for long whenever you think of the campus whenever you think of the school you will remember that garden where there are lovely flowers where there are lovely you know creepers where there are lovely uh, growth of uh, plants so you remember that forever because that is imprinted in your mind that is imprinted in your psyche that is with you whether the flower is there or not but that will remain similar thing i give another example any any good incident that happens with you anybody he behaves very nicely with you any stranger helps you 
you will not forget that that is also beauty therefore on uh, every morrow I, hmm. sir uh, uh, quiet breathing kyu use kiya tha so quiet breathing means yeah quiet breathing breathing is breathing enjoying life you know that uh, uh, what uh, if we are breathing nicely quiet breathing quiet breathing means that a, a very you know a, a normal type of breathing and uh, enjoying life remaining peaceful breathing is the whole system of life if we don't uh, we are not enjoying that uh, a normal breathing quiet breathing here normal breathing it means sufficient oxygen oxygen supply actually this is you know that when you what is the problem with you people you never studied poem in that poetic manner you you always try to find the dictionary meaning you try to find the you know that uh, translation no poem cannot be learned with the translation poem has to be learned with the imagination with the interpretation here we if we he is saying health and quiet breathing it means normal any person who is suffering from some type of problem if he comes in company of something beautiful either that is man or that is some scenario or that is some sight he or she will feel better he or she will get some type of healing that's why i have written here healing medicine so healing medicine means beauty provides some strength to that uh, tired person to that distressed person broken person that is the purpose therefore on every mor morrow every day morrow here every day every day morning we are reading a flowery band to bind us to earth in spite of despondence of inhuman dearth of noble nature of gloomy days of all unhealthy and over darkened ways made for our searching yes in spite of all some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirit now the poet is saying he changing the tone he gives to different tone different aspect and he says therefore every morning we are preparing a band of flower wreathing knitting weaving a band of flower they 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 are just making one after one one after one that band of flower long band of flower why because he and his friend both of them want themselves to to be tied to earth they want to become the part of the earth now it is very normally physically it is very difficult how how it is possible but see the imagination the poet and his friend they want to become the integral part or of the earth they will take the flower from the earth they will make a band of the uh, these plus and they will tie themselves to the earth it means they want to become the part of the system part of the nature bind to the earth means they want to become the part of the nature actually we all are part of nature but we disrespect nature and he is saying that we want to become the part of the nature in spite of why he wants to become the part of nature why he want it means that he wants to go to the beauty he wants to remain in company of beauty becoming part of the nature getting tied with a flowery band means he or his friend wants to remain in close company of beauty why what is the reason he is giving in the next line in spite of despondence in spite complaints grass despondent despondence is a type of you know some type of uh, uh, lawful uh, uh, that uh, uh, lawlessness some type of uh, destruction Do, uh, damage shortage so these both the words are negative words complain of some bad thing bad feeling bad activity bad work so he says that there are different things bad happening different destructive things are happening different un unhappy things are happening in the world and there is human dearth also inhuman dearth not human dearth inhuman dearth dearth means shortage and it is inhuman shortage it means there is no shortage actually 
man has made the shortage in human shortage for example nowadays you see many people are collecting bags of ration and food and many have not i gave you example example yesterday so the shortage is created by man there is no shortage actually there is no uh, hunger actually but it is the hunger created by man because some are storing some are keeping at their home some are not getting so the man has created all these problems of noble nature some of these you know problems some of these these uh, in these two lines the writer is only talking of negative things all these things some of these are noble in nature it means those people who are high in power they have created that problem don't don't think that uh, people in power don't create they also create the problem they some of them are bigger in nature some of them are sm smaller in nature of gloomy days gloomy days bad days sad days when we are not feeling good of all unhealthy and over darkened ways unhealthy practices for example mark black marketing stealing corruption killing any other type of thing and over darkened ways over darkened it is darkened actually ways means method practices bad practices bad works so all these things are telling us about the negative things whatever happening here and there in the society either it is exploitation or it is killing or it is just uh, doing some bad thing to each other or it is uh, disrespecting each other harming each other so all these bad things are there and that's why man is in problem poet is in problem we are in problem and made for searching yes in spite of all some shape of beauty move joe the pal from our dark spirit so these all the things have created a type of darkness in our mind these have created problem for our soul for our heart then what he is saying that's why we are searching that in spite of all these things if we go in company of beauty some shape of beauty move joe the pal this pal is here very you know it it cover it it removes that cover it removes the cover of bad things beauty removes the cover of that bad thing and then it uh, lightens our spirit we feel better from our dark spirit dark spirit in when we are not feeling good so if if we are suffering and we come in company of beauty then we feel better now i'll go to this explanation but before this i want to make it clear suppose you have some type or other type of problem whether it is your question paper or somebody hurt you or you have a problem at home in case you come in company of some good thing maybe good behavior maybe lovely thing maybe good friend maybe good teacher maybe good principal you are all this heavy heart becomes easy you feel better you start loving life this is the simple formula every day poet and his friend weep they make i just told you this i am actually scanning the poem as well as i am giving you the feedback here they they make a, you know a long band of flower and they want to bind themselves to the earth which is an object of permanent beauty so they believe that uh, earth is a permanent beauty and they want to live in company of that a uh, ill will bad will jealousy grudges complain damage sorties these are all caused by man man is responsible for all these things whether it is competition or it is jealousy or it is pain or it is corruption all this is created by man either man ordinary man, man or man in power and position that is created and normally the problem are created by those people who are powerful so painful days caused by bad and selfish practices made them so in search of cynthia they they are they they go not uh, so made them go in search of cynthia they are suff suffering they have uh, got very bad experience of the world they do not want to live in the world they do not want to face all these bad 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 things so they are going in search of cynthia it means they are going in search of some beautiful thing moon goddess beauty removes dark and heavy cover this pal beauty removes this is heavy a, a type of cover which covers everything nobody can see anything okay but this is cover coverage of bad things bad 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 things so beauty would remove this bad cover 
from their lives then they would be able to see a uh, good people good experience and they would enjoy the life so this is the power of beauty now we move to the next one longer such as the sun moon trees old young sprouting a seedy moon for simple sheep and such a dap such as daffodil with a green world they live in and clear rills that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season the mid forest break rich with sprinkling and of fair must rose bloom and such too is the grandeur of dooms we have imagined for mighty dead all lovely tales that we have heard or read an endless mountain an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring on to us from the heaven spring so this is i think the last one and the final one now we are talking about here here the poet is talking about the beautiful things beautiful does not mean only as i told you does not mean only a good looking person does not mean only a good flower does not mean only a good bed does not mean only good food no there are different beautiful things in the nature such as the moon sun trees young trees old trees sprouting a seedy boon they they give us even the boon seedy boon boon means something very good very pleasing even the even the shade is also part of beauty for simple sheep and such as daffodil even the sheep okay these are the part of the beauty daffodils plus yellow club plus these are you know a uh, spring season these uh, bloom in large number uh, in uh, that uh, green background these look lovely daffodil plus with green with the green old uh, world they live in these daffodils background is completely green and these are yellow plus actually dark yellow they look very beautiful so this is also a part of beauty clear rills small rivers small streams which uh, flow down the mountains small small rivers clear you might have seen that the water is very clear when the mountain that uh, these rivers are uh, coming down from mountains that time it is very clear it is not like yamuna it is very clear crystal clear we can see every part of the thing all stones all pebbles that for themselves a cooling covert make and uh, these all make a type of cooling covert covert means cover these provide a type of cooling atmosphere for us cooling here soothing and this rill naturally when you are in company of uh, these uh, forests rivers definitely these will provide you soothing and cooling cooling and soothing out of the hot out of you know against the hot season against the hot season although sun is providing heat also but here heat does not mean only of the sun this is something heat of some corruption heat of some bad company heat of some bad work also so these all provide us a type of cover and that cover is like protection that provides us relief that provides us pleasure that provides a good feeling the mild forest spring and here mild forest uh, sorry mid forest break here somebody sound is coming to me stop that a uh, small small growth of uh, plants a small for example you uh, you might have seen a uh, small growth of uh, uh, plants in some area sometime we call them oases also so even even the if there are a bunch of uh, trees at a particular point even that is the part of beauty suppose uh, in delhi you don't have uh, many places uh, where there is greenery but suppose in your area there there are some plants flowers that is also the part, uh, part of beauty that also gives you something rich with sprinkling of fair moss rose bloom so these all provide us a type of atmosphere there is a reference fair musk rose musk rose is there uh, which uh, provides a very you know a scent a very good uh, smell and uh, when it blooms then its smell moves far away from one place to another place it is a uh, very you know scented uh, rose so the beauty is like that this musk rose it spreads 
it go it takes the you know that uh, good feeling and uh, good uh, fragrance everywhere here and there and such too is the grandeur of doom now here sometime the question is asked here and such too is the grandeur of doom you have to understand this thing grandeur grandeur means some great work and doom destruction damage now sometime the question is asked that what is grandeur of doom grandeur of doom is means those great works people who who are now no more but suppose they did something in past and that grand work is still there that is is still there and we enjoy that these people are no more for example somebody who who made that uh, taj mahal shah jahan is not there but this grandeur is there so this is taj mahal and this is shah jahan one who made that he is no more but his creation of beauty is there so this is giving you a sense that if human beings do something great they remember they are remembered by their great work they are known by their great work and people enjoy the greatness even for example mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi is no more we still talk of truth non violence freedom we talk of sanitation so that is also grandeur of doom it means that beauty is not only the natural beauty the beauty can be man made also the beauty can be creation also it can be creation also we have imagine for mighty dead these people were mighty it means in history there have been great people brave people now they are no more somebody sound is there i think somebody is uh, uh either uh, sound is uh, echoing back to me my sound is coming it means that somebody is uh, having that loud speech you can use that earphone also so this is grandeur of doom means the great works done by somebody but these are still giving us relief giving us pleasure giving us inspiration we have imagined for mighty dead these are the mighty dead these two lines have to be read together because mighty dead the powerful people the people who are name in the history they are dead but their works are still there that's why we call them grandeur of doom all lovely tales that we have heard or read we have read and heard lovely tales about them the and endless